right, Frenzy. Big thank you to the Bismarck Demon crowd for that one. The state playoffs have already started in the six-man level around the state, and tonight they reach the semifinals. Yeah, that's right. Center Stanton, a team familiar with success, coming off back-to-back -back seasons with second-place finishes, hoping to get over the hump. The Wildcats rematching against the Trenton Tigers, a team they beat 70-12 to earlier in the year. Trenton taking the opening kickoff, but the Wildcats come out roaring. Cole Nagel pokes it free and falls on it. Center Stanton ball just that quick, and they take advantage. Handing off right up the gut to Ethan Hammonds, taking on contact to get in and make it 6-0. The Tigers respond, though. The pitch to Jaden Wilson in the backfield, and he goes deep. Connecting with Caden Hool over the DB, and the Tigers take a 7-6 lead. But 22 must be the number to wear tonight. Center Stanton's number 22, Ethan Hammonds, takes this one to the house just seconds later on the kick return to give the Wildcats momentum. Center Stanton punches a ticket to the state title game, 72-51. So who will face Center Stanton, North Border or Drake Animus? The Eagles undefeated this year in the first North Border's Jackson Johnson rolls and hits Kyler Moore. 14-0 Eagles, but rolling ahead to the second. Raiders trying to get on the board, and they do it. John Bossert hitting a wide open man to the end zone. But in the red zone again, the Raiders trying to score, but this time it is picked off. Johnson taking it, has some blockers ahead, and he's off to the races. Nobody can stop him as he takes it to the end zone for a huge pick six. Drake Animus is eliminated, falling 76-13. Let's move to the 11B level. The last week of the regular season for these guys. Huge playoff implications at stake. Home field advantage and championships on the line tonight. Undefeated Beulah hosting Bowman County. Winner takes home the Southwest Region title. The Bulldogs offense started the evening strong. Quade Lardy with a rocket downfield. Bowden Duffield with a catch for a massive first down. The Miners trying to play catch up. Amara Gilmore just able to slip past the Bulldog defense, landing Beulah on the board. The Bulldogs continue to march down the field. Lardy looking to the end zone. Clay Heimer snatching the ball out of the air. Another Bowman TD. Beulah going to their guy, Amari Gilmore up the gut. But hold on, Bowden Duffield says this is like taking candy from a baby. Strips it and returns it for six. What a momentum shift for the Bulldogs as they take down number one with authority, 34 to eight. <laughs> a huge upset for over the number one team in the state. We've had right. two number one teams go down today. But now we go up north to Caressa, who has a huge game as well up there leading into next week's postseason. Phil and Luke, Caressa. two teams fighting to be the two seed in Region 3. Velva coming off a tough loss to Bishop Ryan last week. And DLB back in the playoff run after just missing it last season. And that's where we start the highlights. Winner of this one secures a home playoff spot. Fourth down for the Aggies, Ben Shep. Right here is going to underthrow his receiver. Interception by Chance Mickelson. He takes off and is finally brought down. Look at this tackle. Perfect. DLB goes three and out. Fair catch called for the punt, but it's fumbled, and Mickelson is there with the recovery again. Aggies with possession. Shep with the underthrown pass yet again, and it's Mickelson again with an interception. Still in the first quarter of the game. This is looking like his highlight reel. DLB looking to take advantage. Now look at this play. Velva ran the same exact one last week, and Mickelson comes up with the clutch catch, making the big play. Second quarter, Lakers in the red zone. Paxson Yistos under pressure, airs it out to a wide open Mickelson, putting him on the board first. DLB wins 26 to 12. One seed Bishop Ryan hosting the Ned Rose Cardinals. Third quarter, 21 to six. They're in the red zone, fourth down. Jet Lundin with some time. Pass is broken up by Tyler Armstrong, and that's a turnover on downs. Cardinals needing a big play. Hand off to Cam Bailey. He's going to find an opening and is gone. Finally brought down, though, in Lions territory, and this is just what they were looking for. Fourth down for Ned Rose. Josh Kalamaha can't find anyone, and Caden Dufany brings him down right here for a loss, and that's a turnover on down. Bishop Ryan wins 28-12. That wraps up tonight's highlights. Plenty more, though, coming up on Frenzy, including Phil and Luke's weekly takeaways and a look ahead at next week's games. But first, a look at scores from around the region.